Hi guys, I'm back, and I just wanted to share some anime that I just recently finished. Now, this anime starting um, is 3D Kanojo. Now, I'm not exactly done with it, I still have season 2, but I finished the first season and I just had to talk about it because I really, really liked it. Now, this anime, the best part about it is that you know, it, it, it feels very grounded, you know, it feels realistic in the whole relationship aspect and how it builds you know the the chemistry between the characters and how it progresses as well now I feel this anime would be best appreciated by well I guess any hard die-hard fan of romance or you know someone who could relate to the main character just somebody who's sympathetic because that's that type of anime this is for someone who is open minded for someone that is experienced in relationships I guess or is afraid of getting into relationships so yeah, this is a very relatable anime because it has these realistic characters with, you know, different personalities but recognizable ones. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. It's, it's so good. And, you know, I, I can't wait for it. I can't wait to keep watching season two. So yeah, uh... I think they're both 12 episodes. So yeah guys, definitely watch it because it's worth it, in my opinion. And that's all I have to say about that. And that, uh, yeah that's it. Uh, so moving along, um, this anime, this next anime, I completely finished. Oh my god. This freaking anime right here is so stupid. But so good. This enemy is uh, Bimbogami or Good Luck Girl. Now, as you can see by the picture, <laughs> you know, this is pretty meme heavy stuff. It is super hilarious. Probably the funniest comedy I've seen in a while since Nichijo. And yeah, um, you know, this is actually a. Uh, cats and dogs type of anime because you have the main character Sakura who is Biz Girl and I guess Wars Girl or just annoying I guess with dealing with uh, the the goddess of bad luck I guess you could call her that uh, Momoji so yeah uh, it's a Underneath uh, all the comedy, there's a lot of story to tell about the main character. So, yeah, she doesn't lose the focus, you know. The attention is always on her, as she likes it. And that's good, because we get to understand her and sympathize with her. So, yeah, uh, with all the comedy that there is, you know, this show does get... Uh, pretty serious believe it or not and yeah this is one of those uh, realistic shows that you could relate to or some of us can it it's pretty damn good I'm not sure if we'll see a season 2 but I'm definitely re-watching this end up now the last enemy I want to talk about is a pretty new one from this year called um my roommate is a cat. Oh my god. So this anime here is so sweet. It's so cute. Okay, maybe cute isn't your type of thing. It's not necessarily moe. But it's good. It's uh, it's a feels type of anime. But not necessarily this depressing, you know. And it's actually one of my favorite ones from this season 
and I definitely recommend it whether you're a cat person or not so yeah so these three anime in general I feel are very relatable and anyone can enjoy them if they invest the time and give it a chance so I would definitely do that if you guys have not so yeah uh, let me know if you guys have seen this anime do you plan to watch it did you like it did you not why why not so yeah uh, I'll see you guys then